1990 was the big one for me because that was the uh, making of my career. That's when I first started. So I've gone from working on a factory at £74 a week to earning thousands of pounds. That was my big, the big chance for me in a living in darts. How did I feel between Eric? I was all right. He wasn't very uh, happy about it. He never spoke to me for about six months after. Good, because I got a bit of peace and quiet, but he was all right after that. He was fine. But it was surreal, to be honest with you, because we were practicing together every day. He was, he was the best player in the world at the time, so it was the, the biggest one for me, that one. 1992, Michael, uh, Mike Gregory, yeah. Um, great match. Lucky to get through it, in fairness. He did have shots at doubles. But he, 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 I remember him doing one two ones a lot. And then as soon as he got a chance to win the game, he, he missed. So I'm thinking, just, uh, just give me a shot. I saw the one to one shot and I got it eventually. The last leg. The only really thing I can remember about that one, because he obviously went to the Circus Tavern and he, he had a chance. He hit a one six five lead double eight and I went out one three six to take the set. And that changed the whole game. And he still reminds me on to this day about it as well. Dennis Priestley, 96, um, was, was probably the hardest player I've ever played over the years. He's very slow, very uh, methodical and very good. Was definitely the toughest player I've played in, in my career. Well, 97, 98, that just shows you how good Dennis was. You know, we were both getting into finals. At the time, we were rooming together. Um, and we were both getting to finals on a regular basis, and that's how, that's how good Dennis was. Peter Manley, love beating Peter Manley. Um, the next two after that, I played him in the final, were better for me personally, but yep, Peter was an up and coming player, very cocky, very, you know, but, but also good. He knew he, knew he was a, a really good finisher, so you had to watch him, try and not let him get down to a double, because he probably was one of the best finishers. Well, 2000 was, was um, I was the first Millennium Champion, so that was, that was different, you know, because our, our World Championship was something like January the 3rd, so I'm the, the Millennium World Champion, so that, that stood out a lot for me, that did, even though it didn't really create a lot of publicity, but for me it was brilliant. John Part 7-0, um, I think I took advantage of John, every mistake he made, uh, I pounded him for it, and that's, that's all I can say, really. Peter Manley 7 0 was probably my, my, my most enjoyable win. Enjoyed that one. And I remember the next time I played him, I got him in the final. He says, You'll never do that again. And I beat him 7 0. That was, that was even better. <laughs> Kevin Painter was a cracking match. I mean, he was, you know, he, 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 had, he had me by the short and curlies. He really played well that, that week, Kevin did. And I think deep down, he had a chance, but he, he didn't win. But I don't think he had shots to win the game. Mark Dobridge, yeah, another up and coming player. Didn't fall, uh, to me, hasn't fall, uh, fulfilled his potential, you know. Barney, yeah, that was the start of the, um, I think I say the rivalry between me and Barney. I've enjoyed playing Barney over the last probably 10 years. He's been good. You know, we came over from the BDO. He was the best player in the BDO, and it's, it's been great. Simon's first game, Simon's first one in the PDC and he gets to the final, playing absolutely brilliant. Um, and, and I think I got Simon with the big finish. I think he, he went out something like one six one, and I went out one six four the next leg. And, he, and I, was, I saw the look in his eye thinking, yes, you know, you can imagine what he was thinking. So that pushed me through that game, that did. Again, there's always one shot in a match that, that sorts the men from the boys. Probably the most memorable win for me, as, as in people writing me off. I hadn't won it for a few years and then I was beginning to think, hmm, I, think I, I, I don't think I will win it again. I even thought myself, you know, I was beginning to listen to people. So that was a big thing for me to win it there. I think you're also doing it at the height of the game as well, when everybody's playing at the best. You know, when I first started, you had about 10 players that could win a tournament. Now you've got 100 players that could win a tournament. That's the difference. You know, the, the first, second, third rounds years ago, you know, you had, you had a little bit of a breeze through, but now you haven't. Every game is a final. You know, even the first round, the second round, they're all finals. So it's, it has changed a lot, the, the game has.